The Education Channel presents a news update. So our learning goal today is I will learn to write code to solve problems. What are we going to use to solve problems? Code. Code. Technology is second nature to them. They start using it very early, but that's where the world is going. The world is going into jobs with computer coding. Already there aren't enough people to fill the jobs that are available and the job market is growing tenfold with the need for people to be able to understand this language. It's a language. We've got to discuss here our loops. What are they repeating? Who can help me out with this? Okay, can you cross out the extra class that we don't need, just like Pamela did? We need the kids to be aware of how to do this so that they can help us in the future and help things keep going with all the apps and the smartphones and the programs and drones. They, we need people who are able to talk the language. They need to start thinking this way. We're learning about loops. Yeah, you, you have to repeat, keep repeating on it until you have to get to the pig. Head, waist, head, waist, one, two. We're doing some unplugged activities, so the unplugged activities are not using technology. It's getting the kids up and moving and understanding that these block codes, if they were on a computer, would actually be telling them to do those same things. The one that I want them to take away from this is persistence, because I can't figure out some of these puzzles on the first try. I solve it, but I use too many block codes. So. I want the kids to take away from this that it's okay to get it wrong the first time as long as you keep trying again and again and again.